Is Scum a dead game? Some may say it is, but I'm not so sure. Scum released in September of 2018 with great success. It had an average of 18,734 with a peak of a huge 68,031 players. However, despite this initial success, the very next month, the numbers were slashed. 4,487 average players and a peak of 10,152 the very next month. The game population continued to dwindle down to 1,541 players in March of 2019 and since then has been bouncing between 2,500 to 3,100 average players. Not bad. So, given these rather dismal numbers comparatively to their initial launch, why would I say that the game perhaps isn't dead? Well, because it simply isn't. The developers have been releasing consistent updates and as of March 6th have announced they are hosting a podcast, I believe it's called the Scumcast, with content creators such as Andrilhu, Dream Reaper Gaming, John Blaze Live, and KMZ Kamikaze. They also made it a point to ask their community which private servers are the best and they said they'll make a post about them to give them some more visibility. Another important factor to note is that using DayZ as the standard, DayZ also had dismal numbers from 2017 to 2019. Most of that time, DayZ didn't get over 3,000 average players for two whole years. Their numbers were suffering drastically, and yet the game was revitalized and the last 30 days have had an average player base of 18,000. So all of this information begs the, the question, if Daisy was able to survive a drought of players, why can't Scum? I for one think that Scum, if they continue to involve the community and update the game consistently, it could be one of the biggest games of 2020, at least of the survival genre. The only real threat I see to Scum and Daisy coming this year would be games like Dead Matter and perhaps Dead Side is also getting some traction. I would say with Stan, but I have played it and it is just not in any state to compete with any currently released survival game, though it does have promise. Scum offers a wide variety of things that the other games simply don't. I mean, everything from the character model to the environment and how that looks is just very different. It's a different vibe. You know, you don't have zombies, you have puppets. You have your prisoner on an island with giant mech robots and you can even find a stinking disco club hall thing and it's just really random. There's multiple populated servers, uh, and there's even some decent building in the game as well. I will say that I personally have hard times trying to actually find players, but just like any survivor game, I suppose, it just depends on where you go. Not every inch of a map is going to be populated because everybody who plays the game knows where the worthwhile spots are, so it's no surprise that a new player going into scum will have the complaint that the map is too big, or they just can't simply find anybody. But that by itself does also beg the question, is the map too big that scum has? Because if, if there's only a certain amount of locations that other players are deeming worthwhile to travel to, therefore the rest of the map is empty, What's the point of the rest of the map? Sure, it decreases the amount of PvP and it increases exploration, but for what purpose? Because people, though they like the surviving and they like the exploration, they love the player interaction more, I think, because that's where the difference comes into these kinds of games that separates it from just a regular FPS, or in Scum's case, a third-person shooter. They also have the metabolism system, which they're probably the most well known for their metabolism system because it's so in depth, although their crafting system is also fairly in depth as well. And I also know that they have added exploding zombies, or not zombies, but puppets, for goodness sakes. These puppets will now uh, explode and hurt you within a certain radius, and so you need to shoot them quick, and you actually need to look at the puppets to verify which one's the bigger threat. Is it do any of them have bombs? You know? Are they big and juicy chunkers? 
Or are they little skinny guys that can chase you forever? You might be able to run away from a big fat one, but the skinny fast ones, they will probably chase you forever and blow up and you're gonna end up looking like Two-Face from Batman. But anyways, guys, this is my opinion. I do not think Scum is anywhere close to dead, though I know for a fact it's not anywhere near as popular as DayZ. And it's not anywhere as popular as the initial release date of the game, but what game is. The game is simply in hibernation, I think. And this hibernation, the game will either die in its sleep, or it will wake up vigorous with hunger and devour a whole bunch of new players. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the game is dead? Do you disagree? with me and if so i want to know your thoughts leave them in the comments below be a part of the discussion what are your experiences with scum do you have issues running into players as well do you think the map is too big what do you think of the building system all these things i want to know from you guys and also i want to know what servers that you guys actually enjoy playing on because i'm trying to kind of get into it a little bit but it's kind of hard whenever I can't find anybody. So let me know all the tips and tricks and info and what your thoughts are in the comments below. And if you like scares, survival, and scavenging, consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Path out.